Hey there, as I was editing this project, I realized it might not be clear what this tool is made for, especially if you've never seen one before. So what you're looking at is a straightening tool specifically designed for hardened blades. If you ever made knives, you know that steel can sometimes bend and twist during the quenching process. And now there are a few ways to correct this issue. You can straighten it right after quenching, but you only have a couple of minutes depending on the steel and thickness. You can try tempering in a straightening jig, but it's a bit of a guessing game and you have to bend it in the opposite direction more than it is to start with because it will spring back. And finally, you can use a three-point jig after the heat treatment, but it's risky and you'll inevitably break a few blades. So this is a new tool in my arsenal and it has some serious advantages over the other methods. It works by using the hard ball on the tip to stretch the metal upon impact, moving it ever so slightly on the sides. And a few of these stretching marks can actually correct bends and even twists, which are often the worst kind of deformation you might have to deal with. The 10 mm ball is made of tungsten carbide, I picked it up for about 5 euros, and it must be made of this material because it is extremely hard, above 70 on the Rockwell scale, which is harder than any kind of blade one will ever make. Using a regular steel ball pin hammer with hardness maybe around 50 Rockwell won't work because if you hit something harder like a 60 Rockwell blade, you will displace the metal of the hammer instead of the blade, it's just a matter of hardness. If you decide to make one of these, be sure to use it on the correct side of the bend. Remember, you are stretching the material, so you have to hit on the concave side and go slowly. It doesn't take much at all, and if you do it too much, uh, you risk fracturing the steel. And really, I think that's the only downside of this tool. But overall, as I've said, this works way better and you have much more control compared to any other straightening method that I tried. I also want to give a shout out to Alex and his channel Outdoors55. He made one of these a couple of months back and his video is what got me into making one. In fact, I ordered the tungsten carbide ball right after watching his video and I made this as soon as I got it because he really made me want to try one. He went for a different method of securing the ball arguably easier, so make sure to check out his video as well, I will leave a link in the video description. And that's it, thanks a lot for watching and see you on the next project. Bye!